12, half T minus 10, 9, 8. We have a go for main engine start. We have main engines up and running. 3, 2, 1. Booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Atlantis on a 10-day mission to dock with Russia's orbiting outpost. Houston now controlling the flight of Atlantis. Roger roll, Atlantis. Atlantis into the roll to place the shuttle in a heads down wings level position for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Thirty seconds into the flight, Atlantis's three liquid fuel main engines now throttling back in a three-step fashion to 67% of rated performance. That will dampen the stress on the shuttle's aero surfaces as it breaks through the sound barrier. One minute into the flight, the main engine's now beginning to rev up to full throttle, 104% of rated performance. The throttle up call coming up from spacecraft communicator Kevin Kriegel here in Mission Control. Minus, go at throttle up. Roger, go at throttle up. One minute, 20 seconds into the flight, Atlantis traveling at 1,500 miles per hour. Now 10 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 13 miles in altitude. The shuttle's three main engines, three auxiliary power units, three power-producing fuel cells, all functioning normally. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight, standing by for solid rocket booster shutdown and jettison that command to come from the onboard computers through the master events controller on board Atlantis. Booster officer confirms a clean solid rocket booster separation guidance now converging on Atlantis's three main engines as they begin to steer for a precise keyhole in space for main engine cutoff. Nominal. Nominal. Minus two engine maroon. Engine maroon. Those calls from spacecraft communicator Kevin Kriegel to Commander Mike Baker aboard Atlantis indicating that the uh, solid rocket boosters provided the desired performance during the first stage of uh, this morning's ascent to orbit. And if one, en if one main engine should fail, Atlantis has enough inertia to make a transoceanic abort to Maroon, Spain. However, all three main engines continue to function by the book three minutes into the flight. 